Welcome back, Scotty's Backyard Barbecue and Grilling, where barbecuing is a way of life, folks. Happy Father's Day, everyone out there. Father's Day weekend, and look what the kids got me. Tomahawk ribeye. I never done a cowboy, cowboy steak. Oh, it's almost as big as my fat head, folks. It's already been trimmed. I have no idea where they picked this up at, but hey, I didn't have to pay for it, so who cares? Mary, Father's Day, this is your steak. You're not sharing this with nobody. I'm not sharing this with nobody. So you season this up the way you like. I'll season mine up the way I like. And we'll do this. So I'm going to do a, a dry brine with some just kosher salt. Oh, I should bring you down so you see what I'm doing to this bad boy. How that look, folks? There you go. Look at that beautiful cutting board. You want one of these for Father's Day? Birthday? Christmas? I'll leave a link to where you can buy this stuff. Alright, a little bit of kosher salt. Big thick of meat there, folks. Put it on as thick as you want. Remember, it's your steak. You cook it any way you like, folks. You season it up any way you like, you do it any way you like. Me, I'm going heavy with the salt. I'm going to dry brine this thing for about four hours, folks. Remember, this is mine, not yours. You can do yours any way you want. You ain't going to hurt my feelings. Alright, we're going to put a little bit on the table here. And we're going to get these sides. No binder yet, folks. The binder will come in later. Yeah, I'm gonna rub that salt right into that meat, folks. Alright, we're gonna put this on a rack, put it in a refrigerator for dry brine for about four hours. Then we're gonna bring it out, bring it up to room temperature, and we're gonna hit it with a little bit of this KC rub. I love this stuff, it's good stuff. Alright. Okay, folks, we'll see you in four hours, okay? Once again, happy Father's Day. Remember, this is your steak. There it is, folks. We dry brined it for four hours. Now we're going to hit it with a little bit of this Weber KC Rub. This is some good stuff, folks. Been using this for quite a few years. And then we're going to let it come up to room temperature. And then we're going to go out and throw it on the Pit Boss Lexington. Got good granules. Smells, smells good, folks. Big piece of meat. Let's put that on there. I don't have to do hardly any trimming on this. You don't want to trim too much off because that's what kind of holds the meat together. So when you're flipping it, it won't fall apart on you. And even the old fattest flavor also. Alright, we're going to get all the sides. There we go. Let's get the bone here too, folks. Might as well, huh? A little dangerous, folks. Alright. We'll let that sweat it out. We'll bring it up to room temperature. I'll go out and we'll get the pit fired up. And we about, about an hour, let this sit there, hour, two hours. You know, always better to put a warm steak in than a cold one. All right, I'm gonna fire up the old pit boss. All right, right guys, back. there it is. The old Father's Day cowboy ribeye. Looking good, rubbed down with some Weber. We dry brined it with some salt for four hours. Let it come up to room temperature. Starting to sweat out a little bit. I'm gonna put it in the old pit boss. Yeah. Got a little pan in there. Kinda help keep the heat from hitting the bone and stuff and making it all ugly looking. We're gonna bring it up to about an internal temperature, about 115. Nice 
that will be oh I'm gonna put it on the smoke setting for one hour I want to give it some good smoke and then we're gonna put it on 225 and bring it up until the internal temperature is 125 115 let's go 115 and then we'll sear it off on the old we'll slide the plate out of the way oh you'll see what it's like you'll be great hang on folks be right back mm -hmm. all right folks we hit 212 Got me one of these cool little mitts. Somebody got me for a Christmas present. When we get 212 internal, it might rise a little bit while it's resting. Move the sear grade over, crank this bad boy up. It's as hot as it'll go, folks. One thing I don't like about this pit boss, they don't give you enough room to get your finger in here to get it out. Weber left enough room. You get your hand in there and pull the damn grate out. Good yeah, you damn screwdriver. Only I don't like. Try to get it open. I've never opened this thing. There we go. Ah. We're gonna crank this baby up to high. However high that is, 500, 450. I'll bring you back after we get up to temp. We'll monitor this stake and see how high it rests. See, it's already went up to 3, 313 just sitting there. So might climb a little more. All right, we'll be right back, folks. All right, folks. We've reached a magic number of 400, almost 550 degrees, folks. We're gonna open this lid, pop this steak on there, and we're gonna do a minute 25, rotate it, a minute 25, flip, and repeat the process. We'll see where we're at. Thing's a beauty. Yeah, there you go, folks. Hope I don't get deleted for food porn. Better get my glove on. Five more seconds to go. I want to say happy Father Day to everybody. Kids got me this. I think they said they got a high V. They got a pretty good meat market in a high V. Ever been to high V in your area? I do not buy meat at Walmart. Walmart's a multi-million dollar corporation and they don't need my money. I get mine for a butcher shop. We're done. Another minute and 25. I sure like 
this little pit door. <coughs> First time I ever used a sear grate, I do believe. I have a hard time opening it. It's always low and slow on this thing. 19 seconds, folks. Right here to beat. for it but that's the way you like it do it I never tell a man how he's supposed to eat a steak 25 seconds left folks Folks, there it is. It is rested. It is juicy. <clears throat> it climbed about it climbed about 12 degrees, I would say, just resting. So we ended up with an internal temperature of about <clears throat> 135, 136, depending on where you're probing. That's a medium rare all right let's cut into this bad boy no I am not cutting it off the bone this is mine I'm gonna eat it right on the bone it's Father's Day folks go medieval on this thing let's see what it look like inside folks can't wait yeah beautiful cutting board folks I'll leave a link where you can get one of these it's cheap inexpensive won't break the bank wow Look at that. Look at that juicies. 
Ooh, it's dripping juice, folks. That is beautiful. Alright, it's beautiful, folks. Let's take a bite. Never ever cut your ribeye thin, folks. Get right out of the middle. Oh, yes. Perfect medium rare. Can you see that, folks? Ooh, dripping all over my table, folks. All right, let's cut a piece right out of the center. I don't know about you folks, but I like to dab mine in a little bit of salt. Right, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. That is tender, juicy. Father's Day cowboy ribeye, folks. Wow. I'll try a little off that cap. Wow, that rubber rubbing. That dry brine for four hours is the key, folks. It's not salty. Yeah, the cap. Medium rare. Right off the cap. <laughs> wow. Melting your mouth like butter, folks. Mm. Who would have thought a little $300 Lexington Pit Boss could turn out such a great piece of meat? I highly recommend it. I don't know if Pit Boss is watching, but they probably won't be. Wow. The juice. Let me show you the juice that came out of this thing. Even it rested for a half hour. It was running off my board. We got this steak at High V, I guess. Yep. No Walmart meat in this household, folks. Walmart don't need my money. Of course, I didn't buy this anyways, folks. Going in for one more, folks. Alright folks, thanks for watching. Well you know, barbecuing is a way of life in Scotty's backyard barbecue. And I will start my diet next week after Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers and grandpas. See you next time on Scotty's backyard barbecue, where barbecuing is a way of life, folks. <laughs>